a new vision for South African football. Danny Jordan has spent the last few weeks settling into his position as the new SAFA president. The former member of parliament and the man who delivered the 2010 World Cup can now have a more significant influence in the running of the game in the country. But that's no small job. The organisation has struggled with finances, talent development and an underperforming national team. The challenge is huge, a tremendous challenge. We just uh, concluded the year uh, with all of our teams failing to qualify for under 17 World Cup, under 20 World Cup, the Olympics uh, and the Senior World Cup. So we didn't qualify for anything and, and therefore it's depressing in that sense but also it's uh, indicative of the kind of difficulties and challenges that we face in South African football. One of the key issues has been the lack of development at grassroots level. For years, South Africa has had a shortage of coaching expertise. That, coupled with a disorganised youth system, means any potential talent has struggled to break through. Well, uh, clearly if we want to have uh, internationally competitive junior teams and ultimately a, a world-class Bafana Bafana, then we must strengthen and broaden the base uh, and therefore get more juniors to play on a regular basis. As part of the new structure, centres of excellence will be built across the country. Jordan has a clear goal as to what he wants to achieve and where he wants the national team to be positioned. By 2022, we want to be, uh, if not the top nation on the African continent, then in the top three and in the top 20 in the world. Uh, and, and that is where we're going to focus on both our energy and our efforts and our resources. For many, Danny Jordan is seen as the saviour of South African football. He has an impressive CV and has a clear mission statement. And it would appear that even Bafana coach Gordon Iggerson's job is up for discussion. As Jordan says, all of the coaches' positions will be evaluated. It promises to be an active presidential reign, and that's no bad thing after years of underachievement. Dan Williams, CCTV, Johannesburg.